Let's take a look at a tweet that you had as well. One downside um, uh, on the risk of Watson suing rather than settling is the prospect of, of actually having to win that battle before a federal district court, but losing the war in the Court of Appeals, ultimately missing meaningful parts of three seasons, 2021, 2022, and 2023. Um, again, the in order for that to be effective in federal court, Watson has to go and actually win, is what you're basically saying. Well, he could win. I mean, it depends where the lawsuit is brought. As I've advocated in the past, uh, whoever wins the race to the courthouse has a distinct advantage by having the forum of their choice. And it's very conceivable that, that a Delaware judge coming from the same talent pool as Sue Robinson, who served on that bench for 25 years, could give Deshaun Watson a, a victorious ruling at the district court level. I mean, after all, Tom Brady won at the district court in New York. Adrian Peterson won a favorable ruling in front of uh, Minnesota federal judge David Doty. But both of those district court victories ended up being short-lived because the U.S. Courts of Appeal in the Second Circuit and in the Eighth Circuit overturned the district court decisions and tom brady for example had to serve his four game suspension one year later during the 2016 season so i can envision a scenario where deshaun watson has some success and maybe gets a district court victory because he sues in delaware and then loses before the third circuit u.s court of appeals and then what would happen he would have to serve presum presumably uh an additional 10 or 11 game suspension during the 2023 season because if he serves six games in 2022 and he sits out all of last year he's going to have to serve the additional time if he loses the court ruling at the federal court of appeals level so then he would be sitting out uh substantial portions of the 21 22 and 23 seasons i mean uh, that's a long time for a quarterback or any professional athlete to be out of commission. So there's an argument here for maybe taking taking your lumps in the 2022 season, getting a chance to be on the field this year and not jeopardizing the 2023 regular season. This is a very plausible scenario where he could be missing parts of three seasons in a row if he wins in front of the district court and loses at the Court of Appeals. That happened to Adrian Peterson, it happened to Tom Brady, and it's very conceivable that the same outcome or split outcome could happen here. Three years in a row, that's a little bit, that's, that's a little bit too much to ask for any athlete to miss.